Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboy, the one painful year challenge. We're doing our best to survive. We should rest. We should go back in this house. And we should sit on a chair or on a couch and, and bring our exertion down. Rest. I have to, we're going to run it for a little bit longer too. Um, I have to remember that we are overweight and so we're going to get exerted faster, especially if we're all um, stressed out like we were last time. <laughs> Trying to let the, the food thing go because we need to lose weight. So right now we're holding steady at 95 kilos. Actually not entirely sure where where that goes, like what point it goes below. Not in good shape. I was gonna considering taking that sweater because it's gonna get cold. So we got a lot of zombies down here because that's where I led the group. So let's not go that way. Just I would like to get into that house. I'll be moving that direction. I don't know if he's on me or not. The answer is yes, because I hear I hear huffing and puffing. All right, so I need to remember that I don't need to kill. And in fact, it is a bad strategy to kill every freaking zombie I come across. Just need to stay alive. He's got a knife in his back. Alright, where are we gonna go? We need to be somewhere safe-ish. Actually, you know what? I think we probably the best strategy is to come circle back to that house we were just in um, and try and stay put there for the evening. But let me see if we can we have to try and lose this group of zombies we've accumulated. I like to get in there, but there's a bunch of Zeds, and since they can open doors, I can't just close that door behind me and hope that they uh, take longer to hit the hitting the door than it takes for me to loot it and then go out the window. On the other point, other side, cowboy hat, which is now covered in blood. Yeehaw, my friend. Yeehaw. Alright, looking very cool. Yeah, I think we're gonna, I think the intention, my intention now is going to be to go back to that house that we were just in for the evening when it gets, starts to get dark. Don't even bother. I was like, don't even bother. <laughs> okay. okay, we need to just get out of here. This is not a good place to be right now. There's too many zombies. You have something in your leg. Whatever it is, it's tiny, so it's not going to be useful, but I just know it's there. Butter knife. Yep. Yeah. All these sweaters are in bad shape. We're already, uh, exerted. That's just going to, that's going to be a kitchen knife, I think. You know, I love my game of try and figure out what 
what's stuck in the zombie before I actually take him down. Oh, it's just a butter knife. Well, that's even worse. Hey, there's one that's in pretty good shape. Well, you know what? I never started a timer for this, this one. All right, there we go. I'm running, sadly, with one monitor. Normally, I have two monitors. But one of the things on one of my monitors burned out that the power supply just completely just burned out and I have no I don't know what happened I don't know why so I'm trying to run with one monitor right now it's a little harder to play with one monitor I gotta say I'll take the melted ice cream just for calories in the wine it's the house key Let's, it looks like it's starting to get dark, so we should head back to the place where I don't want to call a safe house, because it certainly isn't, but place we will run the risk of sleeping this evening. Where are the other zombies that were here? This is a bad idea. Oh, it also didn't matter. I almost took the cigarettes, because a lot of time I play with the smoker trait, but... I am not playing with Smoker Trait this time. So this path back should be pretty clear because we cleared it already. Check these cars. Or maybe it won't be. As this zombie shows up. There's two more behind us. some water bottles. I should take those. That was a weird little glitch there. <laughs> Empty water bottles, sure. corpse in this car with me. Some plastic bags. Alright, yeah, it's starting to get dark. We do not want to be stuck outside somewhere when it's dark. Having played this a little bit on stream, I can tell you it is very dark. Nighttime is no joke. Just knock down the hunger a little bit. A zombie here. There's one over here. The nice things about the crowbar is that its durability goes down very slowly. Alright, I'm gonna do a lap here for people like this. Just gonna get him to come out of there. I don't wanna fight in a bush. See how dark it's getting already. Right. Those zombies are far enough away that I don't need to worry about them. Uh, close curtains. I'm gonna barricade this window since we're in here. Hopefully that the noise of barricading doesn't attract too much attention. Alright, I'm gonna go poke my head outside and make sure nobody heard that. No, we're good. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's moving sideways.
All right, so grab me this. Go in here. Close that. We're going to place the chair in the door. So at least they have to get past the, both the door and the chair before they can get to me. But it's not going to help with this because I didn't realize this was open. Give me this guy. And you have to have carpentry skill to pick up. It's funny. There we go. <laughs> Large cardboard box. It'll absolutely hold people off. What am I wearing right now? Jeans? V-neck sweater. Let's throw that on. It's not much, but it'll be something. Alright, I think I might run us... Eat a quarter of this. I think we can avoid the unhappiness right now. Give us a little bit of calories. Yeah. Alright, he's not very sleepy. I don't have a book. Oh, I have my those couple of magazines I found. Which now take a while to read, so. It's one. Generators one is the one that's actually important. The other stuff's electronics skill that I never use anyways. Last but not least. And done. Okay. It's extremely dark now. So let's go ahead and try and sleep. Hopefully it's not bright. Uh, hopefully it is bright by the time we wake up. We'll see. Nope, still dark. Just gonna burn time off until the sun starts to rise. Cold. Don't like that sound. Guess I know you're getting bored. It's fine. All right, there we go. All right, let's eat something this morning. Let's eat a quarter of our box of cereal. Alright, time to start our day. Ooh, it's still pretty dark outside. Alright, not quite yet time to start our day. <laughs> there we go. It's probably good enough. So, I kind of want to head in the direction of the fire station today. Not sure if there'll be anything useful there. I mean, there'll almost certainly be at least a little bit of firefighter gear we can do. Get a helmet, maybe. Maybe an axe of some kind. Assuming we can get in. That's kind of a big if. Expecting it to be a little bit run o run over. Overrun. That's the word. Run over. Nothing to see here, zombies. Police gear would be nice to get, but I don't think we can afford to try and stop for it. Yeah, fair number of zombies would have to kill. There's 
Just try to cut across the back here to cut down on the number of zombies. Assuming we can lose them. This is a lot of zombies, and I don't really want to... I guess we're going to. I don't really want to walk through the trees with them, but... This is what I've started doing, so now I'm committed. <laughs> Road's right here. Well, oh, that's the... Oh, I went a little too far south, okay. I'm tempted to go in here and then jump the fence to get out, to try and... Lure them around, but I'm wondering if that would end up badly because I could walk. I could jump the fence right into a horde. Had nothing. That zombie had something in his chest. Okay, it's a little tight here. There we go. Didn't want to run because it does stir them all up, but. Wasn't sure I could just saunter my way through there. So a lot of times when I'm walking and things like this, I try to walk right along this tree line because occasionally zombies get sort of like dragged by the tree. Kind of like what just happened to me, but you know, to zombies. Then they don't follow you anymore. It sort of works. It's not a, not the best plane in the world, but it does work sometimes. Alright, so this is the fire station area. So if we're going to do this, we're going to have to do what we did before. Collecting a bunch of zombies and moving them away. Which I should probably, I should probably take some of these beta blockers we have. Since we're going to be dealing with a lot of zombies here. Little firefighters. Yep, everybody see me. Everybody come with me. Can I eat while I'm walking? I can. Bring our hunger down a little bit. I kind of feel like I should try and collect everybody from behind the building too, just so I only have to do this once. Everybody come with me. Well, maybe we can do this twice. We'll get this group and lead them this direction. We'll come back. There's another hunting knife in the back of one of those zombies there. Easy there, zombie. Don't get grabby. Alright, so now we do this. Do a little hop. Is that a Santa hat? I don't see Santa hats uh, without the mod very often. Trying to gain dis enough distance that they start to lose interest. Do a little sneak running. Won't do a lot, but it'll do something. All right, we have a few zombies on us, but nothing like we had before. Yeah, like five. We got like five zombies on us. I switch to our hand axe, considering we're, we are an axe person, after all. Are you missing the entire top of your head? 
<laughs> right, five zombies. A spear. I want that spear. I don't know what we're backing up into. I need to be more careful. Spear with screwdriver. Put that on my back. Kitchen knife. Oh, hunting knife. Didn't even see that. Wrench, that's an acceptable weapon as well. This life is going quite well so far. It's the key to the van. I'm gonna guess that it does not have it. Holy crap, this van works. Okay. That was very unexpected. <laughs> Cigarettes tissue. We have the key for that van, but... For that truck, I should say. But there's nothing in it. I'm gonna guess these are locked. Nope. Why didn't you open the door? Zombies are being weird. Sometimes they open the door, sometimes they don't. Denim shirt. Condition is terrible. Military boots. Should put those on. I know sometimes military boots can have holes in them, but I'll worry about that later. And it's cold, so we can actually wear them. Excuse me, firefighter. Oh, sorry. So you open the door. Why did the other one not open the door? Zombie coming up. Yeah, as I say, there's someone coming out the other side. Sorry, uh, sorry, cowboy hat. Hey. Those are in excellent condition, and I think we can afford the weight right now. And ending up carrying a bunch of stuff without actually putting it on. Right, let's put these pants on. Let's put the hat on. Alright. I don't think any of these jackets are going to be in good shape. Man, condition is terrible. I need to try and do my best to kill a, a firefighter zombie without a weapon. So that we don't tear up the, sh the coat. Hey, garbage bags. I was looking for those. Oh, hello. Saw a whole bunch of stuff pop up there for a second. Come here, you. Ideally, just you, because I'd like your coat. Hey, stop moving around. Nope, your coat's still in bad shape. Do you do you love Kentucky? overweight by filling up all these bottles, but it's okay. Oh, I don't need the cowboy hat anymore. Put the jeans away. There you go. Thank you for your service, cowboy hat. How do you get to this 
Is that... Am I seeing this through the wall? What is this going on here? Oh no, there you go. Whole bunch of zombies in there. That's just a bathroom, so I don't care about that. This is a room I also don't care about. Which is apparently locked because the zombies can't seem to open it. This is the room I care about, but I'm worried that it's going to be full of zombies. Oh, just two. Come on. I haven't been getting any, really any of the single hit stabs with these things. Which is a shame, because I love the single hit stabs. Alright. If we can do you without hurting your coat, please. damaged. I don't know if I'm doing that or if that's just been unlucky. Lots of weapons. That's what I like to see. Alright. So that stuff is... Oh, hello zombie. See you down there. Stuff there is helpful but not stuff we need to worry about at the moment. It's all medical supplies, we should probably try and get in there. It's really getting worried about getting snuck up on while I'm worrying about loot and everything. <laughs> Alright, who's coming? Nobody? I heard somebody coming. Vitamins. Alcohol wipes, suture needle, I only need one of them. More vitamins, some sleeping tablets, bandages, more beta blockers, painkillers. You guys aren't, you're not picking them up. Is this full? Yeah, it's full. Okay. Alright, I'm going to call that good enough. On. Yeah, I completely destroyed the coat. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. <laughs> okay, so that zombie's probably going to break through soon. Let's see what we can do with this lady first. This can't get a can't get a decent condition coat. I'm sure it's probably me. There's another hand axe. It's damaging it, but some nails. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, excuse me. Not the swing I wanted. Getting all out of whack here. Yeah, there goes there goes the spear. Well, the spear was nice to have while well, it lasted. Just go kill this zombie that's down here banging on the door. Well, I appreciate its persistence. It hasn't paid any attention to me the whole time. That condition is terrible. Alright, um... 
long have I been going? Oh yeah, I gotta stop here. Starting stomping in media res here, but that's okay. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. This is episode two of the Painful Year Challenge. Surprisingly still on our first life. Um, and I'll uh, see you guys later. Thanks so much.